Hey guys, in this video I want to show you how you can use the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation to solve problems. So this problem says, find the molar ratio of acetic acid to acetate ion, which would be best for buffering a solution at pH 5.5. So the first thing we have to understand here is that acetic acid to acetate is the ratio of an acid to its conjugate base. Acetate ion is acetic acid's conjugate base. A conjugate base is just an acid after it's donated its proton. So really they're asking for this ratio here. Acetic acid, or the general form of the acid we write as HA, over acetate, the conjugate base, which we write generally as A minus. So the reason that matters is because there are two forms of the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation. pH equals pKa plus log of the concentration of the conjugate base over the acid or pH equals pKa minus the log of the acid's concentration over the conjugate base's concentration. So you can see these fractions here become reversed when you change this plus sign into a minus sign. So since in this problem here, we want the ratio of HA to A minus, we want this equation here in this red enclosure because it already has the correct ratio that we're looking for, that we're gonna solve for it. So it's gonna make the math easier. So I went ahead and brought this equation down here and plugged in some of my numbers. So I knew the pH was 5.5, but to find the pKa, I had to know that the, K, the Ka of acetic acid is 1.8 times 10 to the negative five. You can find this on a table that you should have access to. And to find the pKa, we know this is just the negative log of the Ka. So when you take the negative log of 1.8 times 10 to the negative five, you get 4.74 for your pKa. So the next thing I did here was I subtracted 4.74 from both sides of the equal sign in order to cancel this out right here. And I was left with 0.76 equals negative log of the ratio that we're interested in. Then to undo this logarithm, I had to first multiply both sides by negative one so that I could have a positive logarithm, and that makes the math easier. Then I did 10 to both sides so that it's 10 to the logarithm cancels out, and you end up with 0.17 equals the ratio of acetic acid to acetate. This means that the best molar ratio of acetic acid to acetate ion that would be best for buffering a solution of pH 5.5 is 0.17 moles of acetic acid to one mole of acetate. So I really hope this made sense and helped you out. If it did, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.